that time for a deep dive into indicator templates because if you're not using indicator templates, you are potentially not maximizing your time, your process, or all the things you can do on TradingView. Now, where are your indicator templates located? You will find them at the top of the chart at this icon here. And if you hover your mouse over it, it quite literally says indicator templates. When you click indicator templates, you will be shown a number of things depending on if you've used this tool on purpose, accidentally, or just getting started. For example, at the bottom here, you're going to see default templates. Now these default templates are created by the TradingView team to demonstrate what you have access to from the start. So as an example, if you wanted to quickly access a moving average exponential ribbon template. It's right here. You can click. And in a matter of clicks, you will see a beautiful demonstration just as you saw there appear on your chart. But there's much more and you're probably going to quickly grasp what's possible here. Now let's click oscillators. Well, you just noticed the moving average ribbons are gone and now the oscillators are added. Why don't we continue this exercise and click volume based? Now the oscillators are gone and volume information is on the chart. So you can probably piece together what's happening here. You have the capability to create custom indicator templates depending on your different strategies, styles, timeframes, asset classes, and access them rather quickly and have them saved here on this menu. So let's go ahead and exit out of the indicator template that we just added because we want to make sure we really give you the full demonstration and thought process of how one could think about this. Okay, this is a chart of silver. Now, with this chart of silver, say, for example, we are a technical trader and we are trading a daily time frame. Well, we are going to want to create then an indicator template that works for silver futures and daily time frame. So in this example, we're going to add a moving average. Let's get our moving average here simple and let's add that. And let's make this moving average because we're on a daily. How about a 30 day moving average to try to capture how many days are in a month on average. So sort of a rolling 30 day average, rolling monthly average. And let's go ahead and click OK. Let's also change the color because on this specific template, we want the colors to fit our style, our look and our design for trading futures. And in this case, on a daily time frame. Next up, we're going to go to technicals. And why don't we understand a little bit more about volatility? In this case, let's add historical volatility to the chart as well. And in terms of historical volatility, as we mentioned, our moving average is on a 30 day rolling basis. Let's make sure historical volatility is on a 30 day rolling basis as well. So length 30 daily chart, 30 days, click OK. So now we are creating a chart that is going to give us some insight into the daily movements of silver, both on a moving average basis, the white line, and the historical volatility, the blue line. And in fact, let's even change this style to match this template. We'll make the line a little thicker. Let's make it a light blue. And now we have an understanding of its average volatility as well as its average price action. Now what we're going to do is we're going to save this template. And let's call this the silver, let's call this the silver futures template. And let's put in parentheses day trading. Because by naming this something specific and highly detailed, we are reminding ourselves why we made this indicator template in the first place. There are some other really cool features here too, because you can remember the symbol and interval. Now recall, we said before we made this indicator template that it is a silver futures template. So Let's remember the symbol. And we also said we want it to remain on a daily time frame. So let's do daily. That means every single time we open up this template, it will come back to the same chart that we have attached to this template and the same time frame as well. You want, let's actually show you that in real time. So let's actually switch in this example to, let's go back to the exponential moving average ribbon. Let's change symbols to Apple. Let's go down to a two hour chart. And here we are. 
So we're looking at a two hour chart. Now, if we want to quickly access our indicator template, which was specifically for silver, and we can also favorite it so that it sort of always appears on our templates. Well, we're gonna go ahead and click our silver futures template and check it out. We're back to a daily chart, our moving average is here, our historical volatility is here, and we're looking at silver. So this will save the indicators and the last chart you were looking at. It is a highly effective and powerful tool that you really are going to want to access and master because there's one more fantastic feature about this tool that we have to show you. Now, we recall we clicked the favorite button. Well, you're going to see this icon here that says S. And when we hover our mouse over, it says Silver Futures Template. Okay, before we really show you how you can access this in an efficient manner and take advantage of it, let's go back to a chart of Apple and let's start a whole new template. And in this example, say for example that we are a fundamental investor. We don't want to so much examine indicators as we want to examine different types of fundamental indicators. Well, this says price to FCF for two companies. We have a revenue comparison template as well. Let's open up our revenue comparison template and see what it does here. And this is a template we made before that shows the quarterly revenue of the chart we're looking at, Apple, and compares it to Tesla. But of course, we can change this really to any symbol that we want to compare it to. We made this template ahead of time specifically for this video. You can do the same thing. And if we wanted to, we could actually go to financials and why don't we add, so we have a revenue. What's another interesting um, uh, uh, financial metric that we could add? Well, why don't we do free cash flow? So here's free cash flow. Let's do it on a quarterly basis. And now not only are, do we have our total revenue indicator here, we also have our free cash flow indicator. So let's go ahead and actually save this template now. And let's call this template our fundamental, fundamental investor template. And for this, for this template, we don't want it to remember the symbol because actually anytime we pull up a stock, we want to add this template to it and not lose our place. So we're not going to check the symbol. We're only going to remember the interval because oftentimes the fundamental metrics look better, say on a daily or weekly interval. Let's use daily. Let's click save. And now we've got another template there. And let's go ahead now and find that template, the fundamental investor template and click favorite. And now we have these icons up here at the top, silver futures template day trading. We click. There it is, our silver futures chart that we just walked you through. Now let's do our fundamental investor template. Well, let's click that. Now what's interesting here is silver is still open. And of course, there's no fundamental metrics for silver. There's no total revenue, but we didn't have it connected to a specific symbol. So what we're going to want to do then is move to a symbol that has fundamental metrics. Google's a company. It does report things like revenue and cash flow. Now we can see that. So as you can see here, we've got fundamental investor template and silver futures template, and we can just quickly go back and forth between the two. But we do want to just show you one more example, which is that we have this fundamental investor template. And now that we have the template applied, look how quickly we can go through companies quickly seeing their total revenue and free cash flow. It essentially follows us around wherever we go. Now, one more thing to observe here is that we have made a number of different indicator templates, and you are going to want to dive in and explore this on your own. In addition, what is important is if you ever feel like removing templates, there's a little X here. So why don't we go ahead and delete some of these? So we're going to delete that one. Uh, this is three symbol price to sales ratio. Let's delete that one. And let's just continue this exercise until we get to a place where the indicator template menu that we have here is sort of at a fresh start. And we also want to make sure that you know that as you start to save templates, and if you make a number of templates, you can quickly delete them, rename them, create new ones, just as you're seeing here. So we have a fundamental investor template and we have a silver futures template. We're missing one more example and we will really want to make sure that this video demonstration hits home. So how about we go to BTCUSD. This is a crypto asset after all. So there's no fundamental indicators that are going to load here on terms of revenue. 
And now this is going to be our crypto technical template that we're making as an example. So why don't we go ahead and click the save button right away. And let's call this the crypto technical template. So now we've got our name created here. Let's not choose to remember the symbol like BTCUSD because we might use this template across all different crypto symbols. And the interval, we're not going to change the, remember the interval either because we might want to quickly zoom in and out. So the first thing we're going to do here is let's add Bollinger Bands. And the reason why we're going to add Bollinger Bands is because of their ability to measure standard deviation on a chart. We can sort of get a feel for if something's extended or not. Let's stick with the 30 day theme or 30 length. Okay. Simple moving average. Great. Click OK. We definitely want volume on here because after all, how much trading volume is happening with Bitcoin? A lot, a little, a ton. So now we have volume as well. And there's going to definitely be another tool that we are going to want to add. And in this case, what we want to make sure that we see is we're going to make sure that we have some access to the choppiness index to really get a feel for the chop and price action that's occurring in Bitcoin shown as a separate window down here in an oscillator format where you can see 60 this, this, these lines demonstrate the extremeness of the move in either direction. The shaded areas may be a more normal range, you could say. Now, we're going to save this template. It's already saved. We just were demonstrating that. We're going to click favorite. And now you can see the C here means our crypto technical template. Now, recall, we did not save this to any time frame. We did not save this to any symbol. So this template will follow us along wherever we go. We can type in any crypto currency in the search box, and this template will quickly adjust for that. But do not forget that we have our fundamental investor template as well. So we, if we revisit equities in our research process, we can now switch back to fundamental investor template. Or don't forget, we can go right back to our silver futures template, which is quite literally connected to the symbol, and we'll remember that symbol each time. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, this is the indicator template tutorial. And if you watched it from start to finish, you probably just saw the immense value and power in this feature. Go give it a try today. You may want to start with the default templates that TradingView has already built for you. You can also collapse this or not, because as you get more advanced, you'll probably want to hide this and just focus on the templates that you make. Use this save button. Use these favorites to create your own custom templates. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the conclusion to our video. I'm Steph, your host. We've been doing over 300 videos now on our YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you like and comment. Please let us know what you want to see in the future, what you want to see fixed or improved, or even better, ask us for tips or educational lessons because if you write that in the comments below, we will strive to make a video for you so that you get the education you need in markets. Thanks for watching.